Nantos. They're mine. What? The DVDs on the list, the 17 DVDs. What they've got in common is me. They're all the DVDs I own. The Easter egg was intended for me. You've only got 17 DVDs. Do you have a portable DVD? Of course, why? I want you to meet me. Where? West of Drumlins. You live in Scooby Doo's house. Clearest sound, slightly better picture quality on this one, but I don't. Doesn't matter. Okay. There he is. The doctor. Who's the doctor? He's the doctor. Yep, that's me. Okay, that was scary. No, it sounds like he's replying, but he always says that. Yes, I do. And that? Yeah. And this? He can hear us. Oh my god, you can really hear us. Of course he can't hear us. Look. I've got a transcript. See? Everything he says. Yep, that's me. Yes, I do. Yep, and this next is. Are, are you going to read that whole thing? thing? Sorry. Who are you? I'm a time traveller. Or I was. I'm stuck. In 1969. We're stuck. All of space and time he promised me. Now I've got a job in a shop. I've got to support him. Uh -huh. Sorry. I've seen this book before. Quite possibly. 1969, that's where you're talking from. Afraid so. But you're replying to me. You can't know exactly what I'm going to say 40 years before I say it. 38? I'm getting this down. I'm writing in your bits. How? How is this possible? Tell me. Not so fast. Yeah, people don't understand time. It's not what you think it is. Then what is it? Complicated. Tell me. Very complicated. I'm clever and I'm listening. And don't patronise me because people have died and I'm not happy. Tell me. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Yeah, I've seen this bit before. You said that sentence got away from you. It got away from me, yeah. Next thing you're going to say is, well, I can hear you. Well, I can hear you. This is impossible. No, it's brilliant. Well, I'm not hear you exactly, but I know everything you're going to say. Always give me the shivers out there. How can you know what I'm going to say? Look to your left. What does he mean by look to your left? I've written tons about that on the phone. I think it's a political statement. He means you. Oh, uh, trying desperately not to, not to blink there. It's surprising how difficult and challenging it is. <laughs> but what's not difficult and challenging is uh, watching this uh, rather genius episode of Doctor Who. Blink, of course, penned by Stephen Moffat. Uh, I think we had two writers in this season who would go on to be future producers of Doctor Who. Uh, a very interesting concept of um, sort of this uh, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey theme that the Doctor was talking about there. I think that might have been the first time we heard that term. I don't know whether it became more commonplace with uh, Matt Smith a bit later on, I'm trying to remember now. But uh, yes, we saw Sally Sparrow there. A uh, great performance uh, from um, the actress whose name eludes me at the moment. And uh, I think it was this idea that uh, um, the Doctor's obviously trapped in an earlier time and there's been a transcript written of uh, the conversation that they were having in that particular scene. 
But what this is, of course, rightly remembered for is the weeping angels who make their first appearance. A very popular new series, uh, Doctor Who Monster, arguably one of the most popular, if not the most popular. And uh, I think they they send you back in time if they look at you and you blink. Hence why I was desperately trying not to blink. But when you desperately try not to do something, you end up doing it. Hmm. That's probably a bit of a Freudian theme there. But uh, yes, uh, I remember being quite intrigued by this one when I first saw it. But on subsequent viewings, I've really grown to like it. Uh, possibly the one thing I might have changed, though, you know, who am I to say <laughs> what I might or might not change, uh, would be sort of if the if you get caught by the weeping angels and perhaps you just vanish out of existence, that would have been a much sort of nastier uh, way to end up rather than being transported back in time, perhaps. Uh, perhaps uh, it would have made them feel even more deadly the weeping angels and scary than uh, than they already already are in this. Uh, I was sorry we didn't get to see any in that particular clip, but uh, hopefully I might get to see them in uh, one of their future appearances. But um, yeah, great performance, as I say, from the Sally Sparrow actress um, and an intriguing story. <laughs> 